Hello. My name is George C. Powell. The Reverend George C. Powell. And when I tell you I was one of the first residents of Oviedo, I mean I was really one of the first residents of Oviedo. My family and I moved here in 1867 when there was not even a Lake Jessup community as such. I homesteaded 160 acres in what is now pretty much the northern half of downtown Oviedo. The southern border of my 160 acres is what is now Broadway. The northern edge was what is now Magnolia. From east to west it ranged from what's now Division Street to Lake Jessup Avenue. And when I say this is before the Lake Jessup community, I mean most of those folks were concentrated out by Lake Jessup, not in the location specifically that became downtown Oviedo. I did that. In 1867, we had relocated here from Live Oak, Florida, because of a friend of mine, Joseph Watts, who had already, well, he had already squatted in the area. He did not file for a homestead until after I arrived. I began selling my homestead lots fairly early so that the area became known as Powell's Settlement at first. It was only later when I had left that it became known as the Lake Jessup Community. Well, in 1867, there wasn't much in the area. But in 1869, we were blessed by the arrival of a man named Dr. Henry Foster. Dr. Foster talked me into re-beginning my career as a preacher. I was a blacksmith by trade, but a preacher by vocation. Dr. Foster convinced me that we should begin a Baptist church right here in Powell's Settlement. In 1869 we did just that and I was the preacher. We also went to the trouble of beginning similar churches at what we called Lake Harney and later became Geneva and another one in Orlando and I was the preacher for all three of those. My interest ranged far beyond Oviedo however so after about five years of selling off bits and pieces of my 160 acres I purchased a 5,000 acre plot in Lake County referred to over there as the Rodriguez Grant. It had a sawmill. I thought my blacksmithing profession would serve well in that sawmill, but it, the whole venture was not much of a success. So that by 1875, I had relocated back here to Oviedo area to live with my daughter in what is then or now Oviedo. Uh, then Geneva. My wife is buried in G Geneva and my son is buried in Geneva. More about him in a moment. I was not buried in Geneva. No one knows where I was buried and I'm not telling. My son was the reason relocated. We as a family relocated here to Oviedo from Live Oak. You see, in 1865, Lewis Thornton Powell was one of the principal conspirators in the Lincoln assassination, and he was executed for that crime in 1865. Word reached us in Live Oak fairly quickly, and notoriety followed. It was in an attempt to escape that notoriety that we relocated to this area. That, however, is a story for another session of the Oviedo Historical Society's History at Home series. You know, I trust you will join us later for the continuation of that story in Lewis Thornton Powell's history. Until then, Reverend George C. Powell, wishing you all blessings and goodbye.